All right, so I've been seeing a good amount of these Halloween Merlin going around, and I want to give her a try. She's also currently in the new banner, so if you pull her, maybe she's good. I don't know. We're going to be using her with Gelda, because that's one of the ways I've been seeing. Either her with Gelda or Ainz, and I think Gelda is way more acce uh, accessible. So I think it's more interesting to see her with Gelda. Ainz is a character that... I, I did make a video on him recently, because I just wanted to, you know, do it for... Uh, for the experience, because I don't have much chance to <laughs> run that character anymore, right? And unless you have Ainz 6-6, six, six, yeah, you're not... You're not really doing much with him, are you? Another unknown. That's crazy. That's crazy, because, like, you barely see unknown characters or unknown teams in Ungeared. I guess in Geared, I can see there being more, because you don't need... Uh, to spam the Gelda passive as fast, right? So, I think Merlin can really work out as a sealer of AoEs, because you have most of the healing going towards Gelda coming from those AoEs, because AoE cards do more total damage, so you're healing more. Facing an unknown... It's not ideal, yeah, we also... That happened as well, but... Against an unknown, it's unfortunate we got this team as our first match, but... I don't think it's as gonna, it's gonna be as effective, to be fair, this is my first time trying it, but... Just... Thinking of... Um, of that fact, that I think that the best way of using it is... Okay, if we, if we force... Demon King Zaldrus to not be able to AoE. That's good, because then that's less healing. If uh, if Galda herself can't AoE, that's good, because that's less healing. I... was expecting more damage. So... I hate facing Gal uh, Hell with Galda. Because if you... Especially having... I'm using Unknown, which I already dislike running with Galda. Because it's like... <laughs> Really hard to get going. Uh, we kill her, right? We might not kill her. Bruh. I was really expecting how to die there. Uh, okay. Yeah, I don't like running Gelda with Unknown. I've been seeing here and there people running her with Unknown, and it's like... I get it if you have the Unknown characters worked on and you want to use them, but man, it's much nicer running her on Demons, I'm not gonna lie. I guess going second Unknown could be better. It's just... Like right now, for me, it's kind of annoying going first against Unknown, because I don't have a way of dealing with hell, but if I was using demons, I would, so... It is different. Okay, let me move on. Hopefully we face a demon team, because I... I don't want to face hells anymore. The hells are just so annoying. Now we got demons. Mm. I'm concerned. <laughs> does... Does... Uh, does Merlin tank this? Okay. Merlin? Oh, huge! Yeah, we got that, we got that, uh, tier link on her. I don't know if, uh, I didn't mention it, but... Yeah. I think, kind of a must. Alright, we... We can seal. Let, let's do a hell AoE first. And we can seal the AoEs from happening, and I will make sure Melee dies. I was gonna AoE with Gelda, but Gelda first turn doesn't do much damage, and I can't afford to let Melee go for another turn. That was closer than expected, okay. He had like 6 debuffs on him. Or does he cap at 5? I think he caps at 5. Listen, we have too many characters in the game, okay? 
We have too many characters in the game. And I play JP, I, I every time I need to look something up for a character, I need to go on Grand Cross database. And read it off. Uh, Hell does not have a revive right now. See, my Gelda can't do that because I'm using her. I'm using unknown, so I have to wait for Gelda to be able to do that. Okay. Easiest kill for me here will be Liz. Uh, no, 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 no. Do you have Tarmelik on Asterosa? You do. No, you don't. No, you don't. You don't. I think I do this and hope it kills. It will kill. Nice. Get some, getting some crit. I have her with a half crit, half uh, crit chance. Okay. So, not having Gelda AoE me might have been pretty good. Like, obviously, she did the first turn, right? Because we can't control that. And this team is unlikely to go first. I'm not even going to bother using CC food. You have Hell, Merlin, Nanashi, and... G Dude, these are four low CC characters. Low CC as in you don't have Melee, which has so much more CC than any other character that isn't in the LR. So much more. So it's like... What? It's not, you're not gonna go first with this team. It's just not gonna happen. Maybe I should preface. You're not going first against real players slash real players who actually are kind of decent at the game. Like 390k, I I do out CC that. But that's because I have way more boxes than this. Very likely I have way more boxes than this guy. Like for a normal player, you're not out CCing that. Because Melee has way too much CC comparatively to like the other characters we have on our team, right? Especially if uh, the enemy is using Liz in the back as well, like the other guy was and this guy as well, like he probably is using Liz in the back because I don't see the Nanashi passive. Nanashi is just so bad for CC. So, you know. Uh, I don't think I have the privilege of killing Melee here. I think it would be even better if I don't AoE at all. So let's let's do this, right? So how much uh, who has target melee? Because if Gelda is Gelda. We're gonna we're gonna do this. Right here. And we're not gonna AoE at all. Or else Melly is gonna full cleanse anyways. With this Melly does not get a rank up. Does this kill Melly? What? Damn, level 3. If you can get the Merlin level 3, I should put her on the left. Because if she combines, we can get level 3 single target. That would be pretty good. That was that was pretty good damage, not gonna lie. Okay, Melee did not get the rank up because we didn't um, debuff Asterosa. So, Hell still dies, but I mean, she got encroached, that is what it is. Now we have more HP to work with with Gelda, so we can do this right here. I'm gonna single target for even more healing, and then I'm gonna AoE with Merlin, AoE with Gelda. Melee is for sure dead, so that's good. Gelda cannot AoE. What about damage here? Asterisa almost died, nice. Does Gelda even have an AoE? Doesn't look like it. Yeah, she does not. So Merlin's debuff is not doing anything here. Okay. Well, that's just hard RNG for us, right? Can we survive this encroached? Unlikely. Dude, she's so dumb. I'm encroached. Okay, this, this is death. The fact that I almost survived the demons without Gelda. I I, I was uh, talking yesterday about how I'm like really surprised there's a lot of people running demons without Gelda. And 
I saw s some guys saying, yeah, not everyone's gonna summon for Gelda. Of course you're gonna see demons without her. It's like, dude, I'm not even saying, like, I'm surprised people aren't running her. I'm surprised people are running demons, period. Like, OG Demon King demons with Demon King Asterosa, Zel uh, not Zel uh, Demon King Asterosa and Demon King Meliodas, right? Like, you haven't, I haven't really been seeing that team until now. But like, what changed? Necessarily. Because Demon King Zaldras didn't get necessarily better. If anything, he got worse, because the most meta character in the game can't be debuffed by him. So I don't, I don't know. Very strange. Ah, <sighs> do we... Yet again, it's like... Anything that I do here, I give Melly the rank up. Like, I, I can't AoE with Merlin, or else I give Melly the rank up. I don't want to do that. I need to just go full force and kill Melly here. Which... I... Okay. Okay, good CC enemy, 400 plus K. That's that's, uh, that's gonna be a fight for uh, for us to witness. And again, I kinda wish I had a level three for Merlin. I'll be way more, way more safe here. Do I let Melly get the rank up? I really don't want to, like. <laughs> That's the thing with running unknown. Like if I if I use the Merlin AoE, I'm gonna debuff all of them. So next turn, he's gonna rank up. It's not like I can kill here. Screw it, I'm just doing it. I'm just doing it. Let's do uh Astor says Terminally? He does. Let's do Gelda. And then we level two with Merlin. I get, like, if we kill any of them, then Melly does not get a rank up. But can we while doing the AoE? And the thing is, like, I guess I could hold on to the AoE, right? For sure. But, like, at that point, why even run Merlin at all? If the AoE seal is not being used, I could run other unknown characters that I think are, are going to do more than her. Okay, going for the encroach on her, I guess. Ouchie. Oh, that's, that's going to kill Merlin for sure. Oh, he didn't kill Hell, that's big. That's big. Now I can do this. I think I'll do the AoE actually. He has a lot of damage increase. And then I'll do the single target. Yeah. I'm not gonna attack with Val, she's encroached. Really? I healed that little? What? You're trolling. I hate running unknown with Gelda, dude. <sighs> if I was running demons, she would already be maxed, maxed out and killing everyone. Uh... Now she's gonna get encroached. I have no Gelda cards. Oh, she's gonna die anyways. I hate running her with unknown. This is definitely not a real player, but... I want to collect my dub here. <sighs> I think we can go for Gelda straight up. We're gonna do this. It's fine. Melly is not gonna cleanse Merlin's debuff, and we won't be seeing Melly's AOE in this first turn. So that's pretty good. I mean, I guess if you go first against bots, this is pretty good. 
Now Melody can't AoE, so that's less spreading for his passive. And like I said, you're not going first against real players with this. It, the team is way too low CC compared to what everyone else is running, which is Melee. Not maybe everyone else, but you know. When you play the game, and most people are running something, ideally you don't want to use a team that's not good against that something, right? Uh, how about... How about... We actually do something with our Gelda here. I, I despise running her on a numb. It's like, look. 150k. How much are we doing on melee here? Okay, okay. Whew. Yeah, demons with Alistoril, so you can actually do some damage. That's fine, don't care. Yeah, especially if they're running terrible back units. Now, at this point, Galda isn't getting demolished. This is gonna kill Merlin probably though. Mm -hmm. Level 3, huh? <laughs> okay. Level 3, level 3, level 2. I don't have a Galda card, but... This... This will kill. Thankfully he didn't get the... They will revive. Okay. How is still pretty good. That's doesn't matter because he, you know, had to revive anyways. Uh, y'all the tanks this right? I think so. We have Tarmia. Uh, not Tarmia. We have a. Uh, Nanashi passive on her as well. Okay, she didn't even get single targeted. <sighs> well, against bots, it works. <laughs> Listen! Uh, I've, uh, I've gave this exact same compliment to Zahard before, and I think it fits, right? It's been working good against bots. If that counts for anything. Alright, last match. Oh, it's a bot. Well, listen. I can see how this character could be good in top 100. Because, as we've previously discussed many times, in that game mode, majority, and I mean really the majority of matches are against bots. So... If the common denominator is getting squashed, then, uh, hey, it can work. It can work. What is the defense team in top 100 right now? I am gonna play some with Gelda because I wanna see how she does. I was gonna do that for Arthur and I kinda forgot. And then Arthur is already phased out anyways. Eh, not phased out, but no one cares about him. No one really cared about Arthur that much anyways. And, and Global Anniversary Festival is always like this, it is what it is. It's not the real anniversary. But Galda is so like no one <laughs> not a no one. But people don't really care about Galda that much either. But she's so OP that people do care. Like they don't care about the character that much. It's reflected on the like the interactions, but People do care about OP characters. So the moment they re realize, oh, Galda's actually OP, they do, they do care. Yeah, running her with crit chance is worthless. You have to run both gears of crit chance for her to actually crit consistently, unless you're running Assault Melee. I, I think I'm gonna give her Pierce. I haven't run Pierce in a character in so long. It's gonna have to do it though. It's gonna have to be good damage, Merlin. Oh, some crits that did less damage than the non-crits. 